Hello, welcome to this next tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to export um, a figure from DAS and bring it into a Marvelous Designer uh, so we can make some clothes for it. Um, so it's ever so straightforward these days. So I've got my figure loaded in. This is just Genesis 8 female. And I'm going to click File and Export. And you pick a directory. So I've got my G8 directory here. You see, I've already done this once. Uh, give it a name and then click OK. Uh, I've already done it, so it's telling me it exists. Uh, so what I do for export is I generally export in modo scale because modo scale is a meter um, and that you know when I import to other applications such as modo or blender they all work on meters so it makes sense for me to do that. Um, for Marvelous Designer it's less important. Um, you can do it at DAS scale it's fine the only thing you need to know is what scale you're exporting at so that when you import into Marvelous Designer, you import at the same scale. Okay, so what else have we got here? Um, so apart from that, you'll notice down here we have a right surfaces. And for that, we want to change that to collect. And that's going to bring all of the textures together, all of the texture maps, and put them in a directory for us so they're all collected together. Uh, so if I hit accept there, that should do the export and if I go to my uh, directory where is it it's there we should have our object a material file and our maps and there we can see our maps they're all ready to go okay so the next thing is to import it into marvelous designer and we'll do that in the next section Okay, so we're in MD now, and it's a question of file and import. Whoops. File, import, and OBJ. And now I can browse to my directory, my G8 avatar directory, and select the OBJ. Um, load type is open. Uh, object type is avatar. Now, this is uh, the good thing. It, you know, previously um, Marvelous Designer in older versions didn't have this function. Uh, MD can now automatically add arrangement points to your avatar. Um, so make sure that box is ticked. Uh, the scale I've got is to meters because I exported at meters so I need to import at meters. Um, if you have exported at DAS scale there is a centimeters DAS Studio option. There we go. Other than that, I need to leave all these the same. Um, I don't want to do any transitioning. I don't want to drop it to the floor uh, because that will move um, Genesis down ever so slightly. And then when I export the clothes and import them into DAS, it won't work. It, they won't be aligned. Uh, so click OK. And there we go. As we can see, it's collected our maps together and it's put them on and, you know, our avatar is there. And if I come up to the display options, oops, we can go and have a look at the arrangement points and it's put arrangement points, um, the standard arrangement points, which is quite important uh, all around uh, our avatar. So we're essentially ready to go, except there is something called a fitting suit, which is very useful. Uh, and in the next section, I'll go through setting that up. Okay, so I'm just going to turn my arrangement points off with Shift and F. That's F for Freddy. Um, and that, that toggles them on and off. It's a handy one to know. I use it quite a lot. Okay, so a fitting suit, what is it? Well, a fitting suit will allow us to take a garment that was created for one avatar and transfer it to another. Um, so each of the avatars must have had a fitting suit created and the garment must have been you uh, had arrangement points used in its creation or its arrangement um, but as long as we've got a fitting suit on Genesis we've got a fighting chance of converting one garment to fitter okay so how do we do it um, up here we have a little uh, man figure or a little uh, figure figure um, and that's the 
fitting suit so we can create a fitting suit here and that will launch a little wizard which will take us through it uh, what we've basically got to do is define each line um, that it's asking us to now I'm just going to hit reset because uh, I was testing and zoom in a bit now what I want to do is create a line around the neck now the easiest way to do that is to click in the middle press shift and move to the outside and then just move the, your mouse until the line is pretty horizontal around the neck now i'll demonstrate why we use the shift key here so if i do this for the second one you'll see it's automatically defined that and has taken on to the lower neck so i'm going to click and then not shift click i'm going to do it a little bit wonky um, and now i can't get it horizontal around it's going to be deeper one side than it is the other uh, so let me just reset and start again i should have demonstrated that in the first one really shouldn't i uh, so get in the middle click somewhere around the middle of the model shift move to the side and click and then just adjust the line until it's horizontal and similarly we'll do the same for the lower neck so it's click shift to move to one side and then just move your mouse until the line is horizontal and that's going to take us down right down the body within the arms and legs uh, so there's only one on the body it's the waist so click in the middle shift and move to one side and then adjust it till it's horizontal and you'll see it's putting pattern pieces on as we go kind of ghost pattern pieces um, these are the things it's going to use to create like a bodysuit a fitting suit for us to use uh, so where are we now we want the wrist so the wrist i can't really use shift on um, so i just have to click and click try and get it right and then get a line going horizontally around the wrist same for uh, the elbow there we go and now we need to do the arm so the arm I can use uh, shift click for just try and get a front on so I'm gonna click somewhere around the middle and then shift click move down and then just adjust it till it wraps around her arm there we go just the legs to go so this top of the thigh one needs to be quite close to you know the center here at the bottom of her body uh, so let's have a go at that oops I've accidentally clicked this is bad news uh, if I press escape yes it's going to allow me to do it so if you click wrong hit escape it will start again so I'm going to click somewhere around there and move horizontally towards the middle of the leg and then going to arrange it just get it around so it's about horizontal there we go right now we need to do uh, the knee so I'm going to click shift click and then make sure it goes horizontal and then around the ankle click shift click and just make sure it goes somewhere horizontal come on it's a bit fiddly sometimes but it's not too bad okay so once all that's done uh, we can hit the apply button and it will create the fitting suit so you see it's um, created a garment all the way uh, around the figure and then I'm just going to hit apply again here and then hit save uh, I'm saving my avatar in um, the Marvelous Designer uh, directory I've created a new folder called G8 and then we'll click yes now this is a slightly ambiguous bit um, because you know it doesn't really give you any other options from here uh, so I'm going to click cancel and then if I go back to create the fitting suit again you'll see it's all still set up 
for now because I don't really trust Marvelous Designer because it's burnt me before I'm going to save my avatar so file save as avatar and then I'm just going to overwrite our original there we go okay so we have a fitting suit and now uh, in the next section we're going to try and fit a garment made for another figure onto here to see how it works so I'll talk to you then okay so we need a garment to fit so I'm just in the garments directory here and uh, there's a t-shirt and if I right click on that and add to workspace you'll see it comes in and this was made I believe for the uh, male um, MD avatar uh, so with it all selected we go back up to our little avatar tools up here and then say retarget draping and it's then going to calculate it and refit it to our new fitting suit and you'll see that uh, went quite well uh, if I delete that and re-add it and then right click and rearrange our um, 3D and then let it sim uh, you'll probably find that it doesn't work quite so well although actually it's done quite a good job <laughs> but everything's a bit baggy it hasn't resized so let's delete again right click add to workspace and then uh, we'll use our sorry we'll use our oh goodness I keep clicking and it keeps doing the wrong thing uh, retarget draping and there we go it's done some resizing and uh, done some refitting for us um, and yeah that's pretty good that's a pretty straightforward uh, garment you know that works pretty well and you will have to do some you know minor adjustments I imagine um, but it's much quicker than completely recreating a pattern <laughs> uh, should we try a more difficult one yeah let's try a more difficult one just for fun so let me delete that out uh, la, 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 la. let's try this dress so if I add that to workspace you'll see that comes in and that's really 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 tiny uh, I think that was made for the uh, the more manga style avatar that they use uh, so we can go up here and retarget <laughs> there we go so uh, yeah it, it, it's flown up a bit at the top uh, but if I actually drape this that should all settle down I think the particle distance on this is something crazy let's have a look uh, especially these bits down here I think are crazy yeah they're down to about five so uh, that's not going to drape in any sensible time let's make it ten and see if it uh, responds a little better there we go yeah it's a little better okay. so there we go it's a little short um, but that has pretty successfully retargeted that to our figure uh, all I would probably do here is make that uh, skirt longer and uh, you know any other adjustments I fancy making so I hope you found that useful um, and I will talk to you again in another video set.